a land of delightful flora and fertile fields. A land of exquisite beauty, lush with life. A land of breathtaking shores and bountiful seas. A place where man and nature comfortably coexist. A land to explore and to enjoy. This land is Ireland, the ancient birthplace of good times. blessed with magnificent scenery, its coasts, its plains, its harbors. It is a land of unexpected pleasures and activities, from its vibrant past to its vivid present. There is a warmth and charm here. Ireland is timeless in its celebration of life. This is evident at the folk village at Bunratty Castle. Here thrives a faithfully restored 19th century village, alive with the crafts of Irish ancestry, crafts still practiced today. The village harbor is a farmhouse, fisherman's cottage, a peasant's hut and of course, the castle. Castles abound in Ireland, not only as ruins of a mighty past or as museums, but also as luxurious and memorable places to stay. Castles such as Balik and County Mayo offer a comfortable bed and fine food in a setting of medieval splendor. At Bunratty Castle, guests can eat, drink, and be merry as they partake in a medieval festival with traditional Irish song. A hearty meal and plenty of mead, a medieval drink distilled from honey. If you want something on a smaller, more intimate scale, Ireland's many country manor houses offer charm and grace. Kieran Thompson is the proprietor of Newport House, an elegant Georgian mansion adorned with the trophies of his sport. Mr. Thompson is an avid fisherman. Guests at Newport House can enjoy, in addition to the full variety of Ireland's activities, some of the best fishing around for trout and salmon in nearby Loch Beltra. The kitchen will supply a wicker basket with a hearty lunch, including tea, and Mr. Thompson will provide a gilly, a local fishing expert who will summon the experience of centuries of successful Irish anglers to increase your luck. The gilly knows all prime fishing spots on the lake and has full knowledge of the most promising wet flies and techniques to lure your catch. Today you could range anywhere from a, let's say a 15 pound salmon down to a one pound trout. So you have to expect almost anything as you're casting. Yesterday, Kieran, I was intrigued when we were, you were making the tea. You went with the kettle into the lake took the water out of the lake. Yes, well, the water is pure, you know. This is the west of Ireland, and there's very, very little pollution. The day's fishing has got to do with a great deal more than catching fish. Here he is. That's good Beltra tea. Well, you thought you'd make a great one. You could stand on it. If you got a salmon, a big-sized salmon yesterday for the French, I'm expecting even that to be emulated today. <laughs> Right. 
lots of action with him. It was a good game fish. Whether your catch is salmon, sea trout, or just the hardy Irish spirit, an Irish fishing vacation is always a memorable event. As commercial fishermen work offshore, sailors are at play on Sligo Bay. Ireland is home of some of the world's finest golf courses. And Ross's Point is home of one of Ireland's finest. Golfers here play in the shadow of majestic Ben Bulbin near Sligo. Golf in Ireland is a wonderful, challenging game. The courses are laid out amidst the rugged beauty of the Irish landscape. Golfing here is at one time a celebration of sport and nature. Near Shannon, golfers drive and putt through 100 years of golfing history at the famous course at La Hinch. Here, hummocks provide the topography for one of the world's most beautiful and unique golf courses. Nowhere is the meeting of land and sea more breathtaking than at the Cliffs of Moher. These beautiful precipices drop 700 feet to the sea. Visitors to the cliffs can reflect on the beauty of the sea and the majesty of nature. Receding from the Cliffs of Moher is a plateau of over 100 square miles in North County Clare. This is the Burren, or rocky land of massive limestone at places some 1,000 yards thick. Here are the ruins of medieval churches. But the Burren's rich history stretches further back to the time of the Dolmens, monuments of the ancient Celts, who inhabited this land 2,500 years before Christ. Although at first glance it may appear empty, the burren is alive with flora. Its climate is so unique that alpine plants grow side by side with Mediterranean varieties. This makes it a most interesting place for hiking or a leisurely sunset stroll. The Burren's beauty is at one time subtle and splendid. The social centers of an Irish community are its pubs. Visitors are welcome, for strangers don't stay strangers for long. The pub is more than a place to drink, it is a place to laugh, converse, debate, and enjoy a place to savor the riches of a perfectly drawn pint of stout. The thatch in Ballisodare, County Sligo, has survived 300 years of history. It retains the unique old world atmosphere and character of the traditional Irish pub, complete with song and merriment. Water not only surrounds Ireland, but fills it with its riches. You can navigate the Shannon River through 140 of its 210 mile length on your own hired cabin cruiser. Pilot through the many locks, Loch Ree, Loch Key, Loch Derg, to name a few. Scan the riverbank for local inhabitants. The buntings, swallows, warblers, even the majestic heron.
Stop over as you cruise from town to town, enjoying the hospitality of the riverside communities. Enjoy the peace and tranquility of a vacation close to nature. Ireland has inspired many writers. Shaw, Joyce, Swift, Beckett, Wilde, and the poet Yeats. Red Rose, Proud Rose, Sad Rose of all my days. Come near me while I sing the ancient ways. Come near, come near, come near. I'll leave me still a little space for the rose breath to fill, lest I no more hear common things that crave the weak worm hiding down its small cave, the field mouse running by me in the grass, and heavy mortal hopes that toil and pass, but seek alone to hear the strange things said by God to the bright hearts of those long dead, and learn to chant a tongue men do not know. Come near. I would before my time to go sing of old era and the ancient ways. Red rose, proud rose, sad rose of all my days. You too can pass by on horseback through Yates country or anywhere in this fine land. There's no finer way to savor the Irish countryside. Sit back. My leg. Good. Sit back. Brush up on your horsemanship at the Sligo Riding Academy, or venture out on your own, or as part of a guided riding tour. Ireland offers opportunities gloriously varied. Its landscapes are beautiful, its cities vibrant, its waters bountiful, its people warm and welcoming. For this land is Ireland, the ancient birthplace of good times.